Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the uh, video here. I've been wanting to do something to this boat for a long time. It's a 2004 Bay Liner 175, and it's a ski boat, kind of like fish ski kind of boat, but it doesn't have, it didn't have pole holders, so I installed them already. And then up here's open bow, so it's got the seating. So what I'm gonna do is, there's nice little platforms where the seats sit on top of. I'm gonna remove the seats and uh, build a little platform for uh, fishing off of. And it's gonna be a really nice addition. I'm gonna bring you guys along and uh, should be fun. I hope uh, somebody gets something out of it and uh, maybe you wanna do the same thing to your boat. So let's get to it. So my plan is is to build this so that I can still put these seats in when I want to go out with family or friends um, and then just put my platform down when I want to go fishing with just me and a buddy or something. So the standard piece of plywood is 4 by 8 Hoping one piece is going to cover this, but we'll see. Just about 47 and a half this direction. And about 59 roughly the other way. So one piece of plywood will work for this. Oh, the good old Home Depot. Let's go see what we can get ourselves into. You gotta work your way down sometimes to get to the ones that aren't warped. We got the carpet. Looks like it's pretty close to the right color too. I think we're done. Every time I make it out of Home Depot without spending a hundred bucks, it's a good, it's a good day. My brother actually offered to give me a hand on putting it together. It's always nice to have a second set of hands, so my family has a little uh, tiny house business that my mom kind of started and, and my brother Nate. Got a nice warehouse on the west side of the valley. I'm gonna tow the boat over there and uh, put it all together there. So stay tuned and we'll see you over there. It's a little ghetto, but for some reason it doesn't want to go on this ball very easy. So I beat it a little bit. Goes on. All right, we're here at the warehouse. I'm gonna try and pull the boat in here. So we got this nice piece of cardboard here that Nate found. Uh, we're gonna cut it out as a template. Use it, use it as a template maker. Template complete.
we're trimming it up now. We got it pretty close, the first cut. Now we're just trimming it up. It should drop in nicely after uh, after he trims that up a little bit. And then I think we're gonna cut around the cup holders so that they're still functional. trimming everything so that the carpet will fit and it'll still be snug. It's officially uh, cut in half now. We are no going back. Cutting out the knot on the bottom of the seat so that it goes down flush. So we got everything fitted. Now we're gonna seal the wood and uh, put carpet on it. So we're, we're having to uh, let this dry overnight. So we'll be back at it tomorrow. All right, day two. We are heading to Home Depot before we head to the warehouse because I forgot to get uh, carpet glue. Carpet glue is going to hold the carpet, obviously, uh, much better than just the staples by themselves. Stop at Home Depot real quick and then uh, off to the warehouse to finish this little project up. See you guys later. So you found glue, I guess. Oh, yeah. Some. Woo! Looking good. All right, so this one fit perfectly, the one that Nate just got done building. Now we're gonna work on this next one. So I didn't buy a spreader, so we made one. Used, used a uh, ice scraper and just cut little notches in it. Let's go see how this piece fits. One more piece, baby. So good. 
nice and tight and firm and good. Fish on. Fish on. <laughs> Way better than I would have done by myself. So thanks, Nate. Of course. <laughs> of course. So, uh, yeah. Still got the compartments under there. It's so easy just to pull it up real quick and have access. And I didn't want to mess with the integrity of the deck and put latches and hatches and everything else in there. So still got access to the cup holders too. So that's important. Uh, slide this back in. Pull the seats out. And you're ready to go. Striper fishing, large mouth bass fishing, small mouth bass fishing. Shoot, you could even trout fish off this. So perfect. Custom built, baby. That's awesome. All right. Well, that concludes this build. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something. And if you want to uh, get it done on yours, just hit us up or watch this video and learn how to do it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Right? I